morning everyone i am so glad to give a speech on the auspicious day of ravindra jayanti ravindranath tagore was born on 7th may in 1861 at jorashankha kolkata he was born in a rich and cultural family his parents were maharishi ravindranath thakur and shraddha devi he was very much interested in writing poems from an early age when he was just 14 years old he began to write poems and his mother died in 1875 he took his early education at home the private teacher were there to educate him he never attended the school however he went to england for her higher studies he went to england in 1878 to study law and he returned without completing his studies and started his career as a poet and writer he translated his work gitanjali into english during the time when he was in england he was awarded the nobel prize for literature within the year his gitanjali was published he has mentioned the sentimental beauty of indian culture in his work for which a non western was honored with prestigious award for the first time together with being a renowned poet he was also a genius writer novelist visual artist composer playwright and philosopher he was having a good comment of many languages he can write poetry and stories he was a good philosopher through which he was influenced by a huge range of indian people during the freedom struggle it was an unforgettable contribution towards the indian literature the two songs from his rabindra sangeet were more famous as they are the national anthem of the two countries such as amar sonar bangla which is the national anthem of bangladesh and jana gana mana which is the national anthem of india he is great writing in the form of poems or stories are unchallenged even today for us he has the first who filled the gap between the west and the east through his effective writing i want to end my speech by a famous quote of ramindranath tagore love's gift cannot be given it waits to be accepted thank you